Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Capricorn, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Ooh, we missed. Okay, this is a lot. Spirit is being awfully chatty right now. So let's just see here. Okay. Make sure everything is in frame. There we go. That is where we need to stop the lineup. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because a person will be chosen at random to receive a free reading. Also hit the bell notification so that you will be notified when that announcement is made. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is strength, okay? Capricorn, we are a lot stronger than we think we are. We are a lot more powerful, a lot more centered within ourselves than we know. So just connecting with that, that's also the bear berry there. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. This is rebirth reversed. So this is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. There is a sense that we need to kind of like touch ground, right? We need to connect with the earth, visualize ourselves rooting down into the earth to break up that blockage so that we can be reborn as the energy of the earth comes forward. It moves us then, oh goodness, it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the four of pentacles. Be mindful of vampiric energy. Be mindful of energy that is going to be very draining for you, but it's going to seem very Com commonplace like it's going to seem very natural because you're used to that type of energy you're used to that type of drain you're used to that type of, of trauma abuse so just be aware of this during this time this negativity wants to come forward and we have to say no like no i'm not making space for you the four of cups is reversed here we're crowned by the four of cups we have the five of swords the ten of wands reversed the four of wands reverse the empress reversed i'm just gonna pick these all up we then have the devil reversed that's us coming through in the major arcana so that's very interesting the sun reversed the five of pentacles the six of pentacles reversed the chariot reversed the page of wands reversed the knight of wands reversed the world reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, perfect. 
So what's very interesting here is that, yes, there are a lot of reverse cards. And I know people are going to be like, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. This is not good. It's not bad. Remember, spirit needs different ways to be able to express themselves. So knowing that we have reverse cards and upright cards, that's that's a good thing. Now, we have to be mindful here. We're wanting freedom. And we have to remember that we're not the same person that we once were. The repeat of the number five shows that. Our freedom and our transformation with the five of swords. Yet we, ha we do have a poverty mentality that's going to come forward. That's going to be like, well, you don't get to have this. You don't deserve this. That's why spirit is also saying beware of, of trauma patterns repeating because it's going to feel very comfortable to us certain, certain situations, but they're going to be very unhealthy for us, but it's going to repeat like the trauma of our childhood, the trauma of our past. So being aware of that, the four of cups is letting us know that this is going to be a week where we're very stubborn. We want things to go a certain way. We want to see things a certain way. Spirit is going to throw you a curveball. Just be ready for it. Right curveball, you know, on this on this week in your in your planner or in your in your phone so that you know that a curveball is coming your way. You're going to be needing to see things differently. Are you going to want to? No, you're not. So that's going to be important. It's going to be hard to celebrate ourselves. Why? Because we feel like there's such a shift going on. We also know that there's something more coming, but it's not quite yet. And that's because we're reversed right here, right? With the devil reversed. We are going to be looking at things quite differently than we have. We're also going to be breaking out of a lot of, of chains, a lot of I can't, a lot of, you know, addictions, doubts, fears, and stepping into our own power. And that power is going to come and we know it's coming with the sun, but it's on pause. So it's not going to come as quickly as we think it is during this week. We can think, oh my gosh, I'm going to have this big win, or it's going to move forward this way, or this is going to happen. And it's going to take more time than that. So just being aware of this is super important. We have a tendency during this time for one reason or another. Most likely it's the Mercury retrograde that's coming in on the 14th of August. We're in the shadow period before, but then we'll be in Mercury retrograde, then we'll be in the post shadow period. So it's an intense time that we tend to, to believe the voices that are negative because we're going to say, that's improving me. You know, that's moving me in the direction that I need to move. And so our Saturn energy is going to come out and be like, okay, you should listen to the negativity because you need to you need to improve yourself and do your best and then there's going to be a point here capricorn during this week where you're going to be like you know what i'm done listening to this negativity i need to hear the good things like i need to let the prosperity come in and we can just feel completely overwhelmed or completely like undervalued not like just also like desensitized like to success or to happiness or to anything because it has been such an intense road. So being aware of this is going to be super important. We need to listen to we need to listen to our inner child when it comes to our fire and our passion. The wands represent fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, the page of wands is saying connect with your inner child, with your fire and with your tenacity. If you're born on the cusp with Sagittarius, just know that that part of your personality can take over and be very fiery, very spicy, just as if you have fire sign energy in your chart, that's going to come through very combative, very spicy, very intense during this time. So being aware of this is going to be important. We need to make time and we need to celebrate ourselves. We need to make time to see our successes. We need to celebrate the small things. You know, opening our eyes in the morning is a great big deal and we take it for granted. So just knowing that this is going to be a time where we need to celebrate ourselves and we also need to put down a heavy load that we're carrying that we don't need to be carrying anymore. Well, it's not that we don't need to be carrying it, but it's not serving us. So this is going to be a week where we need to say, I release it. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm looking towards my prosperity and my success. We're taking we're taking the reins of what we want. We're taking our emotions in rain during this time. Very positive cap uh, cancer energy comes forward for us, Capricorn. Cancer is our sister sign. So it brings out here the absolute best in us. It can bring out the best or the worst in us as sisters can. And we need to embrace our creative energy with the Empress. So the Empress is reversed. There's a sense of I can't create. There's almost a sense of really seeing ourselves as being like, done like i can't do what i want to do it, it, it it's never going to happen and spirits like why are you being so fatalistic where it's it's, a, it's either going to be all or nothing during this time and we need a better balance within ourselves so being aware of that is going to be a very important thing it moves us then to our subconscious spirit message which is nourish we need to nourish ourselves body mind and spirit we have 
a poverty mentality coming forward. But again, it's the past coming forward. We feel out of balance financially speaking or when it comes to prosperity or what we value as much as money. And so we're going to be like, well, that's it. I'm not even allowed to ever be successful, but it's the chaos coming in. And Capricorn, one of our things is that we have to sustain the chaos. We have to see the prosperity through the chaos. That's part of our, excuse me, have the hiccups. That's part of our life mission here on this earthly plane to see ourselves moving through the chaos without being devoured by it. Our subconscious tarot message, well, not tarot message, our subconscious chakra message here is divine wisdom. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. It is taking in our wisdom. It is taking in our tenacity and it is moving forward with that, knowing that we are divinely guided. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is funny, right? It's the chariot, which is our sister sign, right? It comes through very positively here. Subconsciously, we can be overwhelmed by emotion. So just being aware of that. We can tend to get overwhelmed by emotion, Capricorn, because emotion is by its very nature chaotic. So we can want it to have its proper place, its proper way. And it's going to be important here not to let other people's emotions, you know, override our own, but also to keep ourselves in balance and to move forward towards what we love and to not let to not let life overwhelm us, which is easier said than done, right? Because sometimes life is just in its very nature overwhelming. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the seven of cups. It is our dreams coming forward subconsciously. We need to connect with our dreams. We need to connect with our insight, with our wisdom, with what we desire for ourselves. And we need to bring our dreams back into being a valuable part of our life. All right, Capricorn, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Capricorn, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.